to command our day, command, command our evening, command what you're going through right now and say, devil, get behind me. Amen. So we can be focused in on what the word got to say, because there's coming a time where we got to be in this word. Amen. To keep us safe from harm. Amen. That's what the faith do. That's what the shield of faith do. It quenched the fiery darts. Amen. So we got to have this faith. Amen. For we can pursue the mission. Amen. So amen. Thank the Lord for the saints in the house. Amen. Yeah, Y'all give each other a hand clap. Amen. For pressing your way through. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody but the Lord did that. Amen. Because amen. We have a lot going on. Amen. But God feels fit to pull his spirit through us, amen, to bring us to our proper place, amen. So, Lord, thank you. I thank you, Lord, for leading me, being a lamp to my feet and a light to my pathway, amen. The steps of the righteous are ordered by God. So, amen. So, we're in a good place, amen. Amen, amen. We don't look at the crowd. We look within ourselves because we personally, it's a personal walk. Amen. So we got to get ourselves together. I'm pointing at me. Amen. The preaching. Amen. The preacher got to point to himself. Amen. Because he got to be the light. Amen. He had to have his life in line. Amen. To preach this word. Amen. For he won't cause others to err. So amen. So I thank the Lord for dealing with me in this season. Amen. This is a season I haven't never seen before. Amen. I'm not going to get personal with it, but amen, that's what it is. So uh, I thank God for him dealing with us. Amen. Amen. He's here with us. Amen. If not, amen, we wouldn't be here because God is faithful. Woo. Mm. He's forever lovely. Amen. Amen. And I thank the Lord for what he's doing with the bread of life. How he's causing us to grow in him. Yeah. Amen. But we got to have courage in this season. Amen. To stand up for the faith. Because there's a lot of spirits and a lot of evil spirits that's coming against us to tear us away from the faith. So what the lesson of today is saying, rising to the challenge. Amen. So we got to rise against these spirits. Amen. Because all the spir irish spirits do, all the spirits of Satan do is trying to pull you from your faith. Amen. Trying to pull you from Christ. If he pull you from Christ, he pull you, he pull you away from your hedge of protection. He pull you away from, from his, love and, his love and kindness. Amen. Amen. Even though his love and kindness is going to always be there. But amen. Them thoughts go through your mind. Amen. But the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. But mighty through God by pulling down the strongholds, casting down every thought and every imagination that exalts itself above Christ. Amen. And bring it into the obedience. Hallelujah. We got to bring it into the obedience of Christ Jesus. Amen. Let this mind be in you that is also in Christ Jesus. We got to rise against the challenges that's coming against us. Amen. There's a pandemic going on. Amen. We think it is, we think it is COVID. We think it is um, monkey pots and um, food shortage and all this. But the pandemic is churches are shutting down. Oh, Y'all don't, don't see what's behind the curtains. Y'all don't see behind the curtains. Y'all just believe in what, y'all just see what they show you. But behind the scenes, it's thousands of churches shutting down every week. Yes. Facts. Amen. Some for financial reasons, because they can't obtain the house. And some thought they found something more excellent. They used Jesus. Oh, my God. Rising to the challenge. Amen. That's what we got to do. Amen. Because man is not tempted, but he's driven away by his own lust. Amen. So we got to make sure that we guard our hearts and guard our minds in this season. Amen. Who, who believe in the food shortage? You shouldn't believe in that if you're a, ch a child of God. Because God said, as long as the earth remains, there should be seed time and harvest time. Amen. We got to believe in what Jesus, what God say. Amen. We got to believe in that. Because a lot of people pulling us away from the faith, having to believe in other things. That's contrary to the word of God. Amen. 
So we got to rise to this challenge, amen. We got to stand on God's word, amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Stand on God's word. Because that's the only foundation we need. Everything else is, is rocky, is shaky. Amen. It's not, it's not tried. But this word has been tried. Amen. But we got to have the faith to carry on. Amen. Because what is, what's going on now has got us wrestling, trying to wrestle against flesh and blood. But we don't wrestle against that. We, against, we wrestle against powers, principalities. Spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of darkness. Amen. That's what we wrestle against. We wrestle against spirits. Amen. We don't wrestle against each other. That's the trick of the enemy. Amen. Because he knows that we are stronger together than divided. We draw strength from one another. That's why we don't f forsake the assembly of ourselves. We draw to one another. We, got, we, get, we get strength from one another. We help one another. That's how the church has increased, what we do for one another. Amen? And Jesus said, how you treat the least of them is how you treat me. So this has to do with the kingdom, has to do with a gathering of people. Amen? How would you know that he, he, um, you are his disciple? By the love you show for one another. We got to rise against this challenge. Stop looking at one another and stop being mad at one another for stupid reasons. Because what you thought was on their mind. Because they might have looked a certain way at you that certain day. But you never know what that person going through. That thing, they don't have nothing to do with you. Amen? So we got to rise against that. We got to look beyond our faults. And see what we need in this season. And we need to build our faith. We need to build our faith. Because the adversary called the devil. It's going out like a roaring lion, seeking who he can devour. And he start right here. Because he blinded the minds of God's people. Amen. Amen. Let's read some scriptures. Amen. Let's go to um, Acts chapter 19. Amen. That's why we got to stand strong on the faith because the adversary is trying to move the ancient landmark. He's trying to move it all over here and make you think it's moved over here, but it's not. Amen. This, this word is settled in heaven. Amen. It's already settled. Amen. It's not to be moved. This new age mess that's going on, amen, it's moving. It's trying to move the ancient landmark. Amen. It's not, it's not, we, get, we get emotions. We get goose pumps, but we weren't supposed to get goose pumps. The Holy Spirit is supposed to convict men of their sins. It's supposed to change you. It's supposed to show you all things about Jesus. Amen. This is not about an emotional high. This is about growing God's people into him. Amen. So we got to rise against this. Amen. Amen. We got to speak the word of God. But it's going to take the Holy Spirit dwelled in, in you to have boldness to speak it. Because in these times, you're not going to be able to speak boldly about God without his Holy Spirit. Amen? Because they're going to challenge you in areas you never thought you would be challenged at. So it's going to take the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord to combat that spirit that's coming against you. We got to rise to this challenge, for people, God's people. Because the enemy is trying to draw you to Buddha. He's trying to draw you to Islam. He's trying to draw you to Confucius. He's trying to draw you to another Jesus. But we got to rise against this. Amen? This is a hot summer. I'm trying to, I'm going to get to the scripture. This is a hot summer. And I ain't talking about temperature. Mm -mm. It's hot. I'm talking about sexual sin i'm talking about fornication i'm talking about adultery i'm talking about that's that's things are not of god but the only way we can combat it is with the spirit of god we got to submit to god resist the devil 
Amen. We got to stand, stand, stand. After you can do all that you can stand, you know the word, stand. We got to put on our armor, definitely in this hot season. Amen. Amen. I want to do an extension of the men's Sunday. Amen. We got to have our armor on because it's hot girl Sunday out there. Amen. I'm just being real. Amen. They not, they not wearing nothing out there. Amen. So we can't be driven away by our lust. Amen. Because we join ourselves to a harlot. We become one. Oh, hallelujah. With that harlot. Amen. 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 I have to repent daily. Amen. I got eyes. I can see. <laughs> oh, well, I guess the men ain't going to stand up for me tonight. I guess I'm, by, I'm up here by myself tonight. I can't even get an amen from my brothers tonight. I can't even get an amen. I'm up here. I stand alone. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got Jesus. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. But, hey, man, well, we can overcome it with the shield of faith. It'll quench all those things that come at us. We hold up the shield. Hey, Lord, we, if I look, I let Lord forgive me. Amen. I look. I, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Amen. I'm a sinner saved by grace. Amen. So we all fall short. Amen. Sometimes, but amen. But we can't use that as a crutch. Amen. We can't use this grace as a crutch. If you keep using it as a crutch, it's no longer grace. It's, oh, Lord, how much? Can I say this? Can I say this? It's you using God. Misusing it. Amen. You're taking advantage of. It's not longer grace. You're taking advantage of me. If a person keep doing it and doing it over and over again, I'm showing them love and love and love. After a while, it's no longer. We got to get that mindset on who we dealing with and who we hanging around and who we have fellowship with. They in your company to tear you down. So you got to rise against it. Say, I'm light and you are darkness. I'm here. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's, we got to come boldly. If you got the Holy Spirit, you got to speak boldly to authority. Amen? What they doing in the White House and what they doing in all this stuff, trying to make us go, go, go with the situation. No, I'm not going with homosexuality. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go with you marrying a man and a man and a woman and a woman. I'm not going to fall in line with that. I'm not with y'all. Because you took prayer out of school. You're trying to corrupt my... Oh, you got to speak boldly to authority. They're corrupting our children. Setting them up for failure. To go against their parents. Even though the sins of the mother and the father are passed on to the third and fourth generation. But you're not making it no easier. Amen. I know I, 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 know I take part in what's going on with my children's life. Yeah, it's passed on. Amen. But we can't, they can't use that. Amen. Amen. Because we're born into sin. We, oh, we already got a disadvantage. We wrapped in iniquity. Already got a disadvantage. But thanks be to God. Before the world, Christ was slain. Amen. He was slain for that reason. Amen. Amen. Because we were walking dead. Amen. He had to rise to the challenge. Amen. He word became flesh and it dwelt amongst us. Because he had to rise against the challenge. Amen. And that's what he did. Amen. He stood boldly in the synagogues against the Pharisees and Sadducees. Well, he's, he preached so hard when they want to come up and bite him. Hallelujah. That's our Jesus. I don't know about this Mammy Pammy Jesus. Amen. I don't know what we're doing these days. Amen. You don't cast out demons patting them like this. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. No, you cast out demons. Come out. That's how you cast out a demon. And some demons you can't even cast out. You got to pray and fast. 
You got to stay away from it. Just like the little man was, like the little child was um, throwing himself in the fire in the water. Amen. The fire resembled that he wanted attention. He always getting in trouble. That's the fire. Amen. When he's throwing himself in the water, he want a pity party. Crying and uh, I need to do it and all this. Here. No. Act like they don't know what they're doing. You tell them to do the right thing, they're going in one ear and not the other. They don't even hear it. A dumb and deaf spirit. Amen. It can't come out but by, by prayer and fasting. What you praying and fasting for? Prayer is for me not to condone into it. To not to feed into it. Fasting. Not to feed into it. And my prayer is not to, to, to stand on that what I'm believing in. Not to feed into it. Not to bring buy new Jordans every time they... No, man. You got to rise against this challenge. Stop spoiling our children. Stop doing what, they want, doing what they want you to do. You got to rise up. You can't obey the rules of this house. Cast you out. I cast you out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Out the door. Amen. You got to rise up in this season. Amen. You're not helping them by doing what they want you to do. Amen. They're going to they gonna love you later and they're going to like, oh man, I needed that. Amen. That's when you, that's the fasting. Don't give in. Don't feed into it. Fasting. Don't feed it. Amen. At the while, if you start feeding something, ooh, they're going to get, oh, what you need me to do? <laughs> Amen. What is this? What, what can I do to get you back in agreement? Oh. Obey God's commandments. If you love me. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get to the streets. I can't get there. Amen. If you love me. Amen. Amen. You love me. You'll follow me as I follow Christ. I'm not going to follow that spirit of worldliness. No, I'm not going to follow that. No, you follow me. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we love everybody, but we can't let the core of our relationships be ungodly. The core, the ones we always around, because that's going to tell a lot about you. Your core relationships, if you love being around them, that's who you is. It's simple. If your core is in darkness, your core, the core relationships. If they dwell in darkness, and that's mean you in darkness. You in agreement with darkness. That's Satan device. Amen. He used people. Hallelujah. That's already in agreement with him. To come against God's people. To pull them out of place. Amen. He comes for the word's sake. Oh, man. We got to rise against this. Amen. Because there's a lot of false prophets out there. A lot of wolves. Amen. It's a lot. It's hot Sunday. <laughs> it's it's going to be a hot summer this summer. Amen. Don't get caught. With your pants down. Your panties down. Your drawers down. It's hot summer. I'm, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. It's hot summer. This summer, you be like Samson if you want to. You ain't going to survive the third time. Because Satan got an assassin out there that he's brewing up. You playing, you keep playing around and playing around if you want to. You're going to give your strength away. You're going to give your vision away. You're going to be... Walking in circles, walking with the mill, blind, don't know where you're going because you're driven by lust. Uh, hallelujah. Rise against this challenge. Amen. It's for your good. Take a cold shower if you want, got to. 
Amen. Get in your word. Get that harlot out your phone. Get off Facebook. Get off that phone. That phone is dangerous. Get off that porn site. I'm deaf. Rise to the challenge. That's a billion dollar industry. And it's built on cooperation. There go these hands again. I know. It drove me. I, I was there. It drove me to a place of secrecy. I wanted to be alone. I didn't want to be around. It deprived me from the one I supposed to be doing it with. We got to rise against this challenge. <laughs> we got to rise against this. Amen. You make you be doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing in the bed. I know the bed is defiled and is honorable unto God. But it makes you do stuff unseemly. Amen. You don't be supposed to put stuff in them places. Oh, we don't talk about sex in church, but that's the very thing that we corrupted by. The very least thing we talk about in church is the very thing we doing in the church. Rise to the challenge. We don't talk about fornication in the church, but that's the main thing we're doing. Rise to the challenge. Do you want to be free? You need a preacher that will speak boldly to that demon. Amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. Fornication. It's not going, you're going to burn. Amen? Amen. 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 It's single. Singleness is a gift. Paul had that singleness gift. Amen? But he was in his word. He had the Holy Spirit to keep him. Right. Amen? Everybody don't have that gift. Amen? Amen. The gift of singleness. Right. Amen? Amen. Shoot, the marriage. Marriage don't free you either. If you come in with that lust, you're going to have that lust all in your marriage. So you neither way, you know, you can't win if you're gonna if you're gonna bring something to the marriage. You got to deal with it. You got to be honest with your husband, honest with, with this porn related. Who can pour all kind of spirits on you. Next thing you know, you're bound up and feathered up and chained up with the things of the devil. Amen. And it's gonna take Christ to call that spirit out of you. His spirit, his men of God. Amen. That's what he try to isolate you from, the men of God, the women of God. Amen. Try to pull you away from, have you have evil thoughts about your man of God and woman of God. Amen. And know that's the very one that you needed to connect to to deliver you. We got to cast down those thoughts. We got to rise against this challenge. Amen. They coming against the church. They leaving the church thinking they found something that's more excellent. Ooh, man. Hallelujah. Yeah, the name of Jesus, that'll get me. It's a, the name of Jesus is a billion, trillion dollar industry. <laughs> yeah, that name will get you plenty of money. Amen. Yeah, it will. Amen. They use it. Yeah, it'll build, it'll build up something. Now, the name of Jesus, it got power. But people misuse that name. Filthy Luca for their own. They in it for their own selves. Amen. Then when they get to a place, like I said earlier, they'll leave. They built their own name. Like Jesus went through that the rich man. Amen. Jesus said, "You got to give up everything." Well, I know you know you don't kept the you don't kept the you don't kept the feast and did all this and. You know, um, didn't steal, kill, or uh, all this here, but you got to give up that name, and you got to give up all your possessions, because you get you got that name in the wrong way. You got to give it up. You got to rise to this challenge, people. It's a, it's a devil out there seeking. 
who he can devour. Amen? Amen. Can we, we get to the scriptures now? And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. He's John the Baptist's disciples. Amen. That were believed in the baptism. Amen. And believed in the this repentance. Amen. But it was so much more. Amen. He said unto them, Ye have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Amen. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Baptized with his spirit. Are we there? There's two different baptisms. It's baptism with water. It's baptism with the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's what happened in the New Testament. Oh, well, not in the New Testament, but um, that what happened um, after Jesus had died and rose again off the cross. Amen. He gave his spirit. Amen. Amen. So we always have a controversy about um, how we should baptize. We baptize how Jesus said. With the water. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus said. With the water. But there's a command how to baptize with his spirit. In the name of the Lord. Jesus. Amen. A, man, a name given to a man. Which only one, only, only one, only he can be bapt, only, only he can be saved by. Amen. Is the name of Jesus. That's the only name that we can be saved by. Amen. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Amen. It's the only way. Amen. We got to be baptized with his spirit. But you got to want it. You got to ask and it shall be given. You got to seek and you shall find. You got to knock. Amen. It's a, it's a pursuit. Amen. You got to want it. Amen. Because this spirit is going to tell you, oh, you can't do what you want to do. Amen. This spirit will make you, when you get a cut word, when you get a, a cut word, it'll say, shut up and take it. That's what that spirit will tell you. Take it, Danny. It's for you. it say, don't get offended in my word. That's what that spirit will tell you. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. All right, you, I, I just took note of how when they heard the word, they immediately obeyed it. Mm -hmm. There was no, argue, no more discussion, no more anything. Once he told them about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. amen, they said when they heard this, they were baptized. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. did, did no hesitation whatsoever. Amen. 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 That, that's all I wanted to say. That's good. Say Next that. verse. Amen. That's good. There's no hesitation. Amen. And Paul was a light. Paul, he, he, he showed his, he, God gave him, God wrote him great miracles, gave him great miracles to do. Amen. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them. Mm -hmm. What the Holy Ghost do? And they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all men were about 12. And, and he went, there goes the main scripture we're going to deal with. And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly. For the space of three months, disputing and pursuit, pursuing, persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. Amen? That's what we got to stand up for. The faith, the kingdom of God. Amen? You got to stand up for it. And the only way you can stand up for it with the Holy Spirit. It give you boldness and it give you courageousness. Amen? That same spirit Peter and Paul had. Amen? Amen. They had a, had a spirit that they didn't they stand in the face of the enemy and speak. Amen. Just breathe on God's people and they will, be, they will come to Christ. Amen. They'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's what Peter did. He just breathed on them. Amen. So, amen, that's what we got to be endowed with. We, that's what we got to have in us. Amen. And that's the question. Amen. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Do you have his spirit? 
And the evidence of his spirit is the fruit of the spirit. The fruit, not fruits. The fruit. So you got to have all of it to have his spirit. Can't be neglecting one. Brother Dan. Amen. Uh, just, just to, you know, on, on what you were just saying there about um, it, it, it comes down to faith. When we look at our, our church now, you know, the church as a whole, we see what happened then in the early church. We see how God moved uh, in, through Peter and through Paul and, and, and laying the foundation of the church. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, and when you look today, you, you know, we can see how far we've fallen because the, the gifts of the Spirit flow through those apostles. Amen. Freely. I mean, it would seem, I mean, any time they went, any time, you know, every time they went out uh, or something, you can see how the gifts of the Spirit just flow through them. Yes, sir. I'm just putting this question out here. You know, it's, it's a bit of a rhetorical question, but just a, just a question to, make, you know, make us think, you know. Um, we can see how far the church has fallen looking at this and looking what we look, uh, what we see today, yes, you know. And, and just down through the, you know, the centuries, it's been 2,000, more than 2,000 years, you know, yes. about 2,000 years since Jesus passed, and, uh, uh, you know, died and rose again, and since uh, the apostles, you know, took over. And you see how the power of God freely moved. And, and God moves through, you know, his light moves most powerful, you know, through darkness. We know that. And at that time, praise God, it was such darkness, uh, you know, and, and, and evil. Praise God. But the Bible says it was going to get worse as things get, you know, as, as time go by. So, yeah. So what, what, uh, uh, what, do you, what, what do you think, and I'm asking any and everybody this, you know, if you want to respond. What do you think is, you know, uh, one of the things the church should be doing, you know, uh, to get back? Because I believe first you got to recognize you need to go, <laughs> you know, you, you need to repent and, and, and things like this. But I'm, I'm just asking because I, it's interesting to me to get, you know, some answers uh, just to see where people's hearts are. Amen. Amen. The question is what we need to get back to the foundation. That's a good one. Get yeah. back to the foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. To new, new, newcomers. I forgot to say that. I'm sorry. Amen. The floor is open. If you have any questions or any comments or you have a thought that comes to your mind, be free to just raise your hand. Amen. And Amen. we'll give you the mic. Amen. Be free. What, what, what the question is, say it again, brother. Yeah, what, the question is what do you believe the church, some of the things the church can do. Uh, uh, there's one thing in, in particular that I hope I hear, praise God, mm -hmm. but there's no, you know, right or wrong answer. You know, just some of the things, because I'm pretty sure what you'll say is all things that can be used to, to uh, um, focus and, and bring, you know, the church back to where Jesus will flow through us today like he did back then. So the question is, what can the church do yeah. to get us back to okay. yeah, how it was back then? Well, the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the fellowship uh, between them, because Jesus will flow through an open vessel. Amen. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. I think um, it's two, it's two I want to say it's two parts. Um, one is accountability. I think um, in the body of Christ, we, and the accountability goes both ways. One, we need to be accountable to ourselves um, as far as what are we doing, um, and I actually asked this question on social media the other day, what are we doing um, to represent Christ as a Christian, because that's essentially what Christians are. We are Christ-like. We are representatives of of Christ. So what are we doing to represent Christ? One thing we have to become accountable to ourselves. Amen. Yes, like you said, yes, we are uh we were born into sin, we're wrapped up in iniquities. Um but we cannot use the grace of God as a license to sin. We cannot use the grace of God um as a well there's grace so I could do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. The thing with grace is it should be the opposite. Like, God is so good. Yes, there is grace. And because there is grace, I need to do what, what, what he yep. needs me to do. Now, I'm not saying we'll be perfect, 
but we don't need to have to intentionally live in sin. Amen. Amen. So we need to hold ourselves accountable. Mm -hmm. that's, good, right? that's, that's one thing I think. And then, of course, leadership can hold us accountable because, of, of course, if you're not living your life a certain way, Amen. Yeah. you should not be before the people because it gives a, a false image because why am I coming to church? Mm -hmm. Like if, if the people up there mm -hmm. are doing the same thing they're doing out there, why am I coming to here spending my Wednesdays in here? Amen. Why am I spending my Sunday mornings in here Amen. or any other church Amen. event? Why am I doing it? Because those Amen. people look like them people I just left. False image. But the thing Amen. is the people I just left, they ain't even judging me, mm -hmm. but those people are judging me. Amen. So, the church has to get to a place where the church becomes accountable, but we also need to become accountable for ourselves. Amen. Accountability. Accountability. Anybody else? Accountability. Amen. Don't twist the word. That's one. That's mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's what a lot of things that we do. We twist the word. Yeah. Amen. And God yeah. said that God, we can't live by bread alone, but by every word. That proceeds out the mouth of God. Amen. What, what he said, that's what it says. We can't twist it around just to fit what we want. Amen. To give us, give us a, uh, give us a, uh, what is the word I want to use? To give us um, a right to do what we want. Amen. We can't use that word and twist it for we can dwell in our sin. Amen. The Bible does say that grace it's supposed to lead to repentance. Yes, yeah, it. That's what uh, right in, yeah, in the second second uh, chapter of um, yeah. Romans, mm -hmm. that would that's the function of grace. We respond to God, and we seek God, and we serve God through love, not through terror mm -hmm. or fear. God can't accept service to Him. This 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 um, yielded to Him because we're afraid of what will happen if we don't. Like the Bible says, fear has torment. Mm -hmm. Fear of the Lord means to reverence and respect him. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. But I would rather have, if I was married, I'd rather have a wife do the things she does for me because she loves me, not because she's scared I'm going to knock her upside her head if she don't. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Because that's torment for her. Mm -hmm. Amen. She ain't going to be in that marriage long, mm -hmm. not if she's smart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, um, and, and, and taking any abuse. And this is, this is what, what uh, the Bible says, faith that worketh by love. Yeah. And I believe that, you know, uh, uh, like, like uh, um, James said, mm -hmm. when he said, you show me your faith without your works, I'll show you my faith by my works. Uh -huh. He was letting them know what you see me doing, mm -hmm. I'm doing because I believe. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not trying to show off. I'm not trying to, uh, 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 you know. I, I do this because I believe and I'm doing it because I love the one who saved me. If love is not your motivation for serving God, then you are not serving him in the spirit. You're serving him in the flesh. Right. Love has to be your ultimate motivation for whatever you do because that's the only thing that will last. Mm -hmm. Fear can only take you so far. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when you got people afraid, eventually, praise God, they'll get to the place, you know, like you're facing a bully or something that bully beating on you and picking on you and making your life miserable but one day you come to the place to where you're going to stand up amen. you'd rather be dead than to keep going through what he's putting you through amen, amen. and this is what this is what i'm talking about fear has its place amen but that kind of fear uh if 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 i'm if i'm serving god because i'm afraid of him and i'm saying this because of the question that i ask I wanted to get, I, I wish it was more than my, my sister here that, that, that had something to say about it because one of the ways I believe getting back to God is to understand that we are established in him by faith. Mm -hmm. David could have, you know, uh, uh, when he sinned with Bathsheba and, and all the things that happened, the scandal and things like that. Now, a lot of people would have put David in hell after that, yeah. but grace yeah. kept David where he was. Amen. It's not that, I mean, he, he, that eagle didn't fly as high as he did before. But, I mean, when, yeah, when, when God has established you, he established us by faith. He established us by the grace, amen, that saves us. And I believe if we understand that and if we come to the place that, you know, where we don't beat ourselves up so much when we fall. 
I'm not saying to, to discard it. I'm not saying to, uh, to go, you know, well, I'm a degree, so it don't matter. Uh, no, I'm not saying that. But I am saying a lot of times we can get stagnated because we, 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 we condemn ourselves. And we beat ourselves and, we, well, I got to get this right first. And I got to do that. I, I got to do that. And, you know, and we're not given grace Amen. What it, the, the, the ability to do what it's supposed to do even in times like that. When, the, when Paul wrote that scripture, come boldly into the throne of grace that you might obtain mercy. That's for the people that fail. That's not what the, for the people who done good and doing good and doing all right because it's easy to come boldly before the Lord if you think you've been good. But how do we come before him when we send our worst? Grace says come boldly. In other words, praise God, have faith in what we, if, if we get to the place, and, and, and I'm going to shut up after this, Brother Danny, but if we get to the place to where we trust God, amen, it's, it's, if I got brand new blessings or brand new this, you know, or whatever it is, spiritual or natural, yeah, amen, I'm praising God in all of these things. But praise God, being able to walk that line even when you fall off that line. Don't condemn. The devil is, he came to condemn. Jesus didn't come to condemn. Amen. He came to save. He came to, uh, to lift up. He came to show you that, yes, you can. He's never surprised when we sin. Amen. We're the only ones arrogant enough to be surprised about it. God is never surprised about it. And I believe one of the ways getting back, you know, for, for the church to get back uh, uh, where we need is to trust our faith, you know, and to trust in what God has established in us already which is the kingdom of God the son of God uh, you know his spirit his person is in us amen and if if I'm going to keep on going back you know to what I you know I fall from or something like this uh, um, we don't know how many times David slept with Bathsheba before she got pregnant the Bible doesn't say that affair could have went on for months before it actually happened because God being gracious I wouldn't doubt Praise God that, that it didn't happen after the first time, even though when you read it, it seemed like it. Uh -huh. But God's grace is such, mm -hmm. praise God, I wouldn't doubt, and this is just me talking, yeah. I wouldn't doubt that she didn't get pregnant the first time, maybe not the second or third or fourth or whatever. God given David a chance, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, to repent and, and, and to come back away from this. Mm -hmm. But he went too far, pregnancy happened, and of course we know what happened after that. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But God still didn't disqualify David from what he called him to just because he sinned. And he sinned in a great way. I mean, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of us that, that can say we never committed a murder. I'm not saying my sin is any better than his sin. All of it, the wages are still the same. Amen. But, but um, what I'm saying is I hope to God that we can, can acknowledge, like my sister was saying, take responsibility. Because you have to do that. When I look at this and I see what God did here, and I look at the condition of the church, the first thing I do is look at myself and say, okay, what can I do? Amen. I know my struggles. I know my personal, you know, what I'm dealing with. I'm trusting God for those and I'm moving forward. But I am also taking accountability and I'm praying and saying, God, I want to walk before you in the way that you've called me to. I know I can get back to it's not about the gifts and, and things like that it's about the person it's about the love and the fellowship with God being back in that place I could care less if he had never used me in another gift as long as I'm with him yeah in, in that right place with him so so you know this is what I, I I'm, I'm talking about when I ask the question you know there's a lot of things that can go through our mind but this is what I'm talking about because that's my goal to get back in that kind of fellowship with God whether you use me in anything or not doesn't matter, mm -hmm. you know, as far as the gifts and things like that. Right. Just being in that place. In that place and that place. Yeah. yeah. And where he can, if you want to call on Brother Danny, mm -hmm. I know I can call on Brother Danny mm -hmm. because he's in that place. Amen. 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 He's an open vessel to me. Mm -hmm. I can pour in him mm -hmm. anything I want, any time I want, and I know he's going to go out there and allow me mm -hmm. to express myself through him. Through him. That's right. That, Amen. Amen. That's what. Oh. I was going to tell you what you used to 
Danny, because they cut him off. They won't let him. Oh. Oh, she was saying give you this because your mic is. This one louder. Yeah, this one louder. She can hear this one. Hello? You can hear that? Oh, it is louder. Amen. Amen. But we, amen, as us as preachers and amen, as messengers of God, we got to make a distinction of good and evil. Amen. Because people are getting trapped up by the things of the devil. They hear the Satan's devices. They really don't think that's of the devil. So we got to, like, like, like Paul did, he, he, he disputed. Amen. He made a difference. Amen. He showed the people a difference. Amen. And that's what we got to do. We got to be a light, amen, to the world and salt of the earth. Amen. So, amen, it's more than that's coming here and expressing his word. Amen. God and love that you know his word, but he wants something more than that. Amen. I, God, Paul said, I counted all that dung, everything, all that knowledge I got. He said, I counted dung. But what most important to us, important to God, is the relationship. That's right. Amen. I can close this book, amen, and never read it again. Amen. But long that's as right. I got a relationship with amen. God, that's what's going to get me through. Amen. Amen. Because there's going to come a point when they do take this. Amen. It's going to take nothing but a relationship with amen. God amen. to get you through. And that's the Holy Spirit. That's the cornerstone. Amen. Right there. That's the Holy Spirit. Amen. But we, us as Everything preachers, we can't come stand up boldly and rise to the challenge and tell the people of where they at. Yeah. And that's what a Amen. That's what a preacher do. Amen. Just like John the Baptist, he stood up. Hey, come out. Let's go to the wilderness. He pulled the people out of a place. Because they thought they was doing it right. They thought it was because they doing it by the law and doing it by the customs and all this here. Amen. But he was driving them to a place of repentance. Amen. So we got to come out from amongst them and be he separated. Right. Amen. Amen. Some people, some preachers will give you wine. Some will give you <laughs> ointment to put on you. That's what the beautiful thing about the bread of life. We got different flavors. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody got to stand bold. Amen. 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 It's a bunch of preachers out there compromising. Amen. Amen. Telling you, oh, it's all right to do this. Then later on, no, it's not all right to do. Hold up now. But you're trying to keep me in a place where I'm comfortable. Amen. But we got to speak to those powers. Amen, because there's a lot of powers that's in the church. Amen, they, they, feed in the, they feed in the ministry just for you to shut up about what they're doing. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a lot of people in the cigarette business and in the weed business in the church. You, <laughs> in the church. In the church. Yeah. You think the preacher going to say something about them? About cigarettes and smoking and drinking and all that there. And they got the very person in there that's feeding them hundreds of thousand dollars every week. Hallelujah. Paul disputed and persuaded mm -hmm. the things concerning the kingdom of God. Amen. That Make means. a difference from the unclean and the clean things. Amen. And the holy and the profane. Amen. So that's what we're here to do, amen, to stand boldly. No matter what people may think about, you might lose in relationships on the things you preach. Yeah. But I want them to have a relationship with God, amen? I want them to, pr to, to prick their heart, to prick it, amen? All this compromising, all this sweet talk, all that, that's not going to prick your heart. It's just going to rub on you. As long as you rub him on, I'm going to be comfortable. I'm all right then. Oh, man. Yeah, me Amen. But we got to stand boldly to the powers. Amen. Amen. Stand boldly. Amen. Like a brother said, amen, it's been 2,000 years. Jesus said the Antichrist is already here. 